Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Muhammad, and in this video, we will be covering records. So, um, records looks quite similar to structs in C or C++ or objects in JavaScript or Python, which are data structures that allows you to store multiple variables inside them. So, if you do not know any of these concepts, no worries, I got you covered in this video. Well, to begin with, Records is a data structure, and we already covered multiple data structures in this course. We covered arrays, lists, and tuples. These two behave the same way. They store elements in a consecutive order, same type of elements. Tuples, on the other hand, it stores different type in elements, not in a consecutive order, in the same place, but not in a consecutive order. But records are quite different, because instead of just storing multiple values in one place, they store them by name. What I mean is that it is a wrapper for multiple variables. This is what I mean. So, for example, let's say we have a record called patient, and this patient might have a name, a string, type of string, and that string is referred by the name, an age, type integer, a number, referring to the patient's age, and if it's still sick or not, if the patient is still sick or not. So, this record will encapsulate multiple variables inside it and these variables will define what a record is. So a record is a way to wrap multiple values inside it and referring to these values by variable names. So a record can store multiple variables with their values. So if you do not understand what I said, what I mentioned, bear with me. We will start coding right now and I hope the picture will be clear. As always, I already went ahead and created a new file called main, and in this file, we will be explaining how to use records. To begin with, and first of all, let's start by defining the patient record type that we just mentioned. And this will be a general template in which we can define variables later of that type. So, let's start by defining the patient record type, and we'll start that by doing double colons, the name of the record, then equal to and then in curly braces what variables it will comprise of and in our case we just said that it will comprise of the name which is of type string the age of the patient which is of type end and finally the if the patient is sick or not which is of type boolean note that this is a general template here we write the types of the variables not the values so we will have patient record and in this patient record it will comprise three variables the name the age and sick the name will be of type string the age will be of type end and sick will be of type boolean now let's start by defining a variable for this type we will say we have mike which is a variable if you do not know what a variable is please check the previous videos so we define mike which is a variable and this variable will have the patient type. Note that the patient type is of this thing on the right. This over here is how the value of this type should be look like uh, should look like. So let's copy this one and then start filling the values. So we have name, the name will be Mike for instance. We have age, let's say the age will be um, 16 and then we have if this if Mike is sick or not. And in our case let's say true Mike is sick. Now let's start and see what is Mike. And as you can see, Clean was smart enough to know that Mike will be of type patient and it will have these values. So Mike is of type patient and it will have these values. Now there is a small problem with this approach that if we say Mike is equal to one and let's run the application again, it will just output one. So it's not consistent. Mike is not just always a patient. It can change. It is changing. And we can make clean a bit strict of what the type will be. So for instance, we can say Mike, this variable must be of this type must be of type patient and remember that patient is a record and this is how it should be looking like so now let's start this one and we get an error over here if you can see it that the the clean is expecting a patient and it got an integer assigned to mike so let's delete this one and give it, get it back to what it was and finally we have a patient now let's see some tricks that he is going to be useful to you as a clean developer. 
and when dealing with records. So the first step would be how to access these values over here individually. So for example, if we write start and try to output mic, we get the whole thing. We get that mic patient and it has these values. So we want to access one of these values. Let's say we want just to access the name of mic. So we go with the symbol sign mic dot name and that will give us the value stored inside the name variable inside the patient record and remember mike is a patient record is of type patient and we go same thing with age and we get 15 that means that we can access any of these variables the values assigned to these variables by writing the variable name after the record type and dot between them so the second thing that we want to show you is how can we create a record that is exactly the same as Mike but with one of its values changed and we can do that by doing start Mike ampersand now this will still clean that okay we want this record to be exactly the same as Mike but we're going to change something and this ampersand tell us that we're going to change something let's say we want to change the name to Mike Johnson and let's run it and as you can see this will output a new Mike and that Mike is Mike Johnson. Now it has all these values, same as Mike. However, the name is different. Note that this does not update Mike. It outputs a new copy of Mike, but with one of its values changed. So the third trick that I want to cover in this video is the structuring and what I mean by that. Let's say we have a function called isec and it will take a patient and return a boolean if the patient is sick or not and we give it a patient and remember that we can access one of its one of the patients variables or values by the dot symbol so patient or path dot sick this will return the sick value and let's start by calling a sick on mic and let's see what will happen and we get my kick is not defined yes that was a mistake a typo and then we get true because mic is actually sick However, there is an additional trick that we can do to functions. So instead of passing the whole record, we can only pass a single variable of that record. We can just do, for example, sec. And this will take the record, will extract the sec value or the sec variable, and will pass it to this function, only the sec variable. Now let's try it. And we get true. Same. Now, Remember that we can pass multiple variables here. We can extract multiple variables from Mike. We can extract the name, we can extract the sick, and we're only going to use the sick. It doesn't really matter how many variables we put here. Just remember that these variables must be the same name of these variables. The name, the age, and the sick. The things that the record Mike is comprising of. And again, it works just fine. And that's it for this video. Please practice. The more you practice, the better you become. And if you want some problems to practice on, I'm going to share in the description some a repository full of problems that you can explore on your own. If you survived this far, then you know what a record is, how to define it, and how to implement it in clean. For the next video, at the moment I do not know what should I be putting for the next video. Tough decision. Anyway. Next video is for the next video, and I truly hope I see you there. Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something, and salam.